Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Hope Done LED rechargeable flashlight. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. Okay, so here's the flashlight. It's quite heavy. We have a cord. It's a USB to micro USB charging cable. And then we have this manual. So it has a cob floodlight. You can zoom it in and out. It has a waterproof rubber ring, battery indicator, micro USB input, USB output, and on off switch. So this can be used as a power bank so you could charge your phone with this. So if I'm camping or something, I'll generally take a power pack to charge my phone. But it is nice that it has that capability. It has a large battery in it. And you could be in a situation where you have the flashlight and you don't have any other power bank and you need to charge your phone. So it's nice that it has that feature. So it says attention, unscrew it to expose the USB charging port for charging. After charging, screw it back to hide the charging port. Warning, do not look directly into the cob light. This is not a toy. Children under six should not use this product without adult supervision. Let's charge this. So it looks like I need to unscrew this. That's kind of neat. Okay, so we have input and output. So this is input there, output here. So I'll plug this in to charge it like so. Connect that to my USB port. Here we're charging, we're just under one amp. So I don't know how high that or low that'll go. That can vary a lot. Let me go over some features of this flashlight. It can reach a distance of 1650 feet away. It has three modes, it has high, medium, and low. You can zoom this so you can have more of a spotlight or more of a floodlight. It uses a 26650 lithium cell. It can last up to 10 hours. It has an IPX5 waterproof rating. So the first number, which is the X, is for dust ingress. So this isn't rated for dust ingress. The five means it's rated against spraying water. So you can certainly use this in the rain. This isn't made to be submerged like for diving and things like that. And you can spray water at it, but you wouldn't want to spray something like a pressure washer at it. But I don't know why you'd actually do that. So so it's made of aluminum. It feels very hefty. It's very heavy. And we can see the chips inside. Looks like you focus it by turning it. It does say on here that it gets hot. So I'll pull this out and test it. So I'll turn it on like that. Okay. So this is the high mode. Then we have medium, low, off. And then we can turn this to change the focus. So this is more of a flood mode. This is more of a spotlight mode. You can really feel the heat coming off of this. So I'm going to point this at the wall and we'll see the light this casts. So I have a little light coming in from the background. The camera and the light are both about four foot from the wall. So here I'm lighting up the wall. It's very bright and I'll narrow this down now. So there's the spotlight mode. I'll we'll open up. And that's the flood mode. So that was kind of a short range test. I'm going to charge this all the way up and then I'll take it outside and I'll test it out there. Okay, so I'm standing at the end of my driveway and I'm about 50 foot from these garage doors. There's a light on there, it'll just turn off. And here we're shining it at the garage. And this is in the spotlight mode. I'll turn this. And now we're in the flood mode. So that's lighting up the whole driveway. So let's turn this on the lower mode. That's medium, that's low. There's high again, let's go back to spotlight mode. So there we go. So this is what it's looking like on the driveway. So it's very bright. So that's the Hope Done USB rechargeable LED flashlight. I really like the light that this casts. It's very even and it's incredibly bright. So I think this flashlight would be great for things like security work. Like if you hear a noise outside of your house, going to check on it. This is a very bright light. And if you did find someone lurking around that wasn't supposed to be on your property, you could stun them by shining this in their eyes. Unlike the flashlights we had when I was growing up, it doesn't have like a bunch of rings in the middle either. It's very even light. So this would be good for doing things even like changing a car tire or diagnosing a problem in an engine of a car or looking through a crawl space or an attic. Of course, you can also turn this and focus it. So if you want a little bit tighter beam, you can have that or you can open up wider. And I really like how hefty this feels in the hand. It just feels significant. It doesn't feel flimsy. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.